Hey guys, what up? It's Hippie Mafia here, and I'm going to be showing off my Canyon Rope Bridge Camp. And I had a lot of fun building this. I got to use a lot of weird building techniques that made for interesting shapes and buildings. And uh, it's just a really nice spot at the bottom of the map. There's a lot of nice things to look at, and there's very rarely any enemies down here, which is great. Aside from a, a Scorch Beast that spawns right over near a Fissure Point. But usually you can see him coming and uh, do something about it. But yeah, I kind of wanted to make this like a little military base kind of get up. So I ran with the metal walls because they just have a real official look about them. Um, this bridge is awesome. There's four or five rope bridges in the game, but this one is in the best condition and it's short enough to where you can fit all kinds of stuff on either side, but I stayed to the one side. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go with like uh, kind of like a little forward operations base kind of get up. And uh, so I did some kind of weird architectural designs that uh, just made it useful, but at the same time provided me a kind of wall to keep it to where you can get in if you choose to go across the bridge. I didn't even hook up power to this doorway. Um, yeah, I didn't even want it to open. Like, if you're coming from the backside, you don't need to be coming in. But, uh, yeah, we got all our stuff here. Uh, I really, really love these artilleries. It's just, like, something about it is just really nice when, like, a crowd of something comes up and you can just bomb it to hell and uh, I definitely enjoy that part of this camp. Um, our kitchen area is one of my favorite if not the favorite strictly because of the way it's made and the view it provides. Um, I decided to break up the camp this time and put all my kitchen stuff in one kind of formal dining area and keep all the other crafting items over, you know, separate, but, um, <clears throat> this was a lot of fun to make, I really enjoyed the fact that I could build up and down, I have my little personal base down here where, you know, it's living quarters and such, and I gotta say, all the floorings available now through the Atomic Shop are awesome, like, I feel like it's closer to being a real house, because it's like, Nobody has just the same flooring. There's carpet in certain rooms, usually linoleum in a kitchen and stuff. So I really, really enjoyed that. And this has a really great view as well. This entire base is nothing but great views, secluded, away from everybody. I'm just a really big fan of like the privacy. Um, sometimes I like it when my base is next to something that gets visited all the time. But also sometimes I like to know that no one's gonna come by, especially if you're, you know, you're pop over into survival mode, which I did do, and I think I ran for like a good two hours or so, and the last bit of that, I had to go cook dinner, so I just uh, sat there in my, my chairs. Um, I always forget to include the part where I build it, so it loading in is like the best option I get, and I do kind of enjoy that it does that every once in a while. It's like, oh yeah, you know, it did take a lot to get it all into that shape. but. This is a nice part of the map. Um, it honestly has like an almost Colorado type feel about it with the trees and the rock structures. I just really enjoy this spot and I don't want to move anytime soon, but I do have other ideas for camps. So this spot may be open for grabs pretty soon, but it is great. There's a spot for water, a spot to plant, there's seclusion, privacy, it is great. Um, so that's that, and I really hope to see you guys out there. You know, get out there and build some stuff. See you around.